Brian Anderson with Insurance Business America. In a 12,000 square foot building at FM Global Center for Property Risk Solutions in Norwood, Massachusetts, sits the Sim Zone, a new state-of-the-art hands-on training facility devoted to educating FM Global field engineers and clients about hazards, both man-made and natural, confronting policyholders along with the protection solutions available to minimize or mitigate those hazards. Insurance Business America recently spoke with FM Global's Randy Schreitmuller when he was at the RIMS conference in Denver about the Sim Zone, and here's what he had to say. FM Global is a company that's very uh, much invested in engineering. Uh, loss prevention engineering is it's really part of the fabric of our product and it's an integral part of the product. So we have 1,800 or so engineers that visit important locations for our client to help ensure resilience of their facilities and their supply chains. So when you have that many engineers, you have to train them, of course. So the Sim Zone really came about as a way to train those engineers. Um, we might hire anywhere from 75 to 125 engineers a year, and think of the Sim Zone as a, it's like a flight simulator. It's a hands-on experience. The engineers can get their hands dirty uh, and, and get to know fire protection equipment, industrial equipment, uh, electrical equipment, uh, you name it, non-destructive testing, valves, etc. Before the Sim Zone came about, really a lot of learning about how to operate this type of equipment was classroom learning, uh, manuals, book learning. So this really is a new way of getting that type of information across. It's a modern way of teaching the, enge the engineers. Uh, it works on two levels. They like the hands-on experience, but it also turns out it's the best way to get that information implanted in their heads. It's like a safe learning environment. They can go in, use some of this sophisticated equipment, get to know it, and uh, you know it really does work well as a, a teaching experience. Well, the Sim Zone really works on a number of different levels. That hands-on experience is something that, number one, the engineers like it, so it engages them uh, in the process. They get to actually work valves, to work fire protection equipment, pumps, uh, building systems, etc. So not only is it an experience they enjoy, but it turns out it's also the best way to get that information across to them. Um, you know, before this would have involved classroom learning, book learning, uh, so, so really it does help implant this important information into their heads. It also allows us to kind of throw them some curveballs along the way. Um, you know, they get to experience firsthand some of the things that can happen during the course of operating a pump or operating a piece of switchgear, so that really if those things happen in real life, they're prepared to deal with it. 